not him, Megan hides a diminished head as Gary Barlow said hers out of the top in a music competition. The Duchess reacted awkwardly to a comment made by the Take That singer about Prince Harry and his involvement in the band's musical projects. But the boy band who famously never managed to crack America were news to Megan. Gary Barlow, who performed solo on last night's show, told Australian chat show, the project about the meeting, he had said, the first thing she said to us was that she wasn't to be aware of our music. Meghan Markle has found her place among the headlines again every week, with each new release of her Archetypes podcast. This week's installment piqued further interest when it was revealed that she was deviating from the norm and welcoming three men, Andy Cohen, Trevor Noah and Jude Aptor, on the show. A first of her predominantly female-inspired and powered work, Archetypes is all about exploring the negative stereotypes attributed to women by society. But Megan admitted that she had not looked at the problem from the other side of the coin. She said that Prince Harry, her husband, had inspired her to welcome the trio of men after the royal made a pop-in appearance in the first episode. The only man to do so. Harry is no stranger to dropping in and out of things, having spent his entire life trying his hand in all sorts of ventures, like podcasting, the army, football, and even writing a book. An unlikely episode that came in the saga, however, saw Megan become flustered and momentarily embarrassed when she had found out about his former musical escapades before they had met. In 2018, Megan and Harry joined with the band Take That at the Royal Variety Show and were pictured chatting together for a brief period. While it was all laughs and smiles, Cameras soon caught an awkward moment between Gary Barlow and Megan, when he had turned to her and said of Harry, he's been one of our records. The Duchess, unsure of how to perceive this, rearranged her hair and gave a small laugh, as though she were unsure whether Mr. Barlow was joking or not. Mr. Barlow had followed up, was serious, to which Harry had chipped in, in Jamaica, wasn't it? The take that singer then replied, that's right, he really is on there. Megan, looking on in disbelief, had said, Oh my goodness, you learn something new every day. Harry played the tambourine on Sing, a song written by Andrew Lloyd Webber and Mr. Barlow, and which was performed by the artist across the Commonwealth to celebrate the Queen's Diamond Jubilee in 2012. Clips online show Harry and Mr. Barlow joking about the Duke's appearance on the track and the process of its creation. When the singer asked him to appear with just one hit, on the tambourine. Harry replies, it's going to cost ya. Prince Henry of Hales, most commonly known as Prince Harry, plays tambourine on the EP Sing, which debuted at number one at the Itali this past Sunday on June 3rd. He featured on the said title track, which was composed and recorded specifically to celebrate Queen Elizabeth II's 60-year reign. That collection commemorated the wedding of Harry's parents. Charles, Prince of Wales, and the late Diana, Princess of Wales. On the album's cut, The Marriage Service, the two royals are heard exchanging their marriage vows at St. Paul's Cathedral in London. Barlow explained to ITV how the regal cameo came to fruition. We caught him on his last day in Jamaica, he said, and we turned up and had asked him would he play on the record, as he said. I don't sing, but I said no, no, I don't want you to sing. I want you to play the tambourine. When asked if the prince exhibited any musical talent, Barlow simply said, No, 